Okay, so this here we're gonna install uh, Nessus Essential. Uh, gonna install into Kali, so go ahead and um, open up your Kali machine. Okay, once your Kali machine can open up, go ahead and log in. Open terminal. Just wanna do a quick ping to Google. Okay, you gotta fix my network. Do that network. Give it a second. She has some connectivity. Okay. Now we have internet access. Minimize this. We're going to open the uh, internet browser. We're going to go to Nessus Tenable Download. Uh, choose any of the version we're doing. Uh, make sure we're doing for Lin uh, Linux distribution. Uh, MD64. So make sure you choose the right one for you. All right, once you have it downloaded, we're gonna open a terminal. She has to uh, make it a little better. We're gonna open the folder. You can right click, it says, extract here. Now we have the file here. We double click that. There's um a way to install it. You can Google uh install uh Nessus. It will be something like this. Uh we are in Deb Debian. So what we need to do is put this in the command line. So we open the command line. All right. Um see so here. I want to open terminal here. Which way we will already be there at the download. And what you're going to do is type in yours, the ls. There's the file right there. So we're going to do a dbkg install Nessus AMD4. And we need to do sudo command because we're installing. Put in password. Uh, it's the dot dev one, the one that we just extracted, and let it install as Nessus. Okay, so now we can start Nessus by typing this started. So in the bin directory, we're on system CTL. We want to start. Nessus service. I ask for registration password. Nessus should be started. Okay, uh, and then once we run that, we go to this right here. And have a web browser, which is HTTPS. 
Kali, port number 8834. Oops, 8834. And we want to accept the risk. Now, uh, make sure you register uh, with a account first. So you get a um, product code uh, key to put in there. So in this case, I'm going to do register for Nessus Essential. If you already registered, you don't need to do this part. You can skip it. If you haven't, go ahead and do it this part. And then put in your activation code uh, from your email. And then after you put in your activation code, you can create a user account. I'm just going to do this admin with a password. And this is for logging into this application only, not to the website, but to the application. All right, and then it should be download plugins. So give it some time to download. And then we can start up uh, Nessus for a scan. Uh, once it's installed, right now it's downloading the core components and the plugins. Uh, wait until this download is complete and then you're able to run a scan on your system. Okay, so um, it finally finished downloading. Um, so you can really just uh, create a new scan. So, one second here. All right, so this plugins are done compiling. Now we're going to do a new scan. Uh, we just do a uh, base, so we do a host basic scan. Uh, no credentials on uh, settings. All this first scan. And um, you don't need to know the IP address. So the terminal here, IPA. We just want to scan this network right here on um, 10.0.225. 10.0.2.25. So that means we could do 10.0.2.1 slash the 24. And then save this. And save this. And you can click here. It's going to start a scan. You can double click. And you look at the vulnerability and the history. As it's going out there to scan, and you can see it's scanning right, it's running right now. So whatever it finds, it will populate the vulnerability here, history here. But uh, that's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is going to stop this. Uh, we're going to do a new scan. And we're going to do basic network scan, and we're just going to do this specific computer, which is 25, I think. Yep. This is Kali's. And we're just going to save that. We can run this. Simply, it's looking at this, this one only. So I found three vulnerability, uh, nest stack connection, service detection. Yeah, so that's literally it for uh, Nessus scanning. I mean, once you have your other machine up and running, you can scan it all across the board and then it'll pull all the vulnerabilities in.